Hi guys, Abs here and welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you and making notes about a free WordPress plugin that we're using to bring our websites um, or to bring our website so that they are GDPR compliant. So if you're not aware what GDPR is, I'm gonna be making notes of that in a moment, um, but I just wanna quickly bring to your attention, guys, that the 25th of May is only 10 days away now, um, and we need to be sure that our websites are GDPR compliant, especially if we're interacting with any customer inside of Europe. Okay, so there's a number of plugins that are being released and they're actually charging, um, they're charging a fee to actually use these plugins. Um, um, but the plugin that I'm going to be showing you today, guys, is free of charge. I'm going to be showing you how I'm using it, the kind of features it provides you with, um, and how you can get hold of it yourself and start using it yourself as well. Okay, so the very first thing I want to do is point out and make notes of what GDPR is. So GDPR stands for General Data Protection Regulation. Um, and if any website is interacting with anyone in Europe, then you need to be sure that, it, you know, that um, your website is compliant. And if you don't comply, guys, there can be fines of up to $20 million or up to 4% of the turnover um, of the business, depending on whichever one is larger. Um, and just very basically and very briefly guys um for gdpr users need to consent um for cookies that you are tracking them with um, and how you handle data as well um you also need to provide your users with um features whereby they're able to delete their own details modify details edit details and download their details as well and if anything was breached or anything like that, you need to keep a whole track of the history, guys. Okay, so um, the 25th of May is around the corner. We want to make sure that we're going to be fully compliant. You can go out there and you can buy plugins and work with them, guys. Or you can do exactly what I've done um, and just used a free WordPress plugin. Okay, so let me just show you what the WordPress plugin is first, guys. Okay, so this is the WordPress plugin. Um, it's free of charge. It's called GDPR. Okay, and you can find it on WordPress. And as you can see, it's got some really cool reviews down here as well, guys. And as noted, I'm personally using it as well. So I'm going to open up a new browser and I'm going to go over to abbastrategy.com and I'm going to show you the kind of changes um, that this plugin has done for me. So the very first thing is we've added a cookie policy down here. Okay, so we're saying that please agree to the cookie policy. Uh, you can also view our privacy details down here. It tells you all about our privacy details down here if you want to read more you can click on here or you can click on here okay and this is going to then take you over to our privacy policy page and as you can see this was updated today okay and on this privacy policy page we're also providing users with you know areas that they need to work with in fact what i'll do guys i'll go over to here um because i'm logged in on here and i'll show you exactly what happens so just imagine if you was logged into your site or if you had features whereby users can come along and log into your website so this website doesn't actually have those features um, but i'm logged in so the website's recognizing it down here so i can choose to update my details down here i can choose to choose to delete my details um, i can choose to raise a complaint as well I, and i can choose to export details as well so i mean download my data if i click on that um, as you can see it says uh, email was sent to you give me two moments okay so oops did I press F5? I did. Okay, we're recording now anyway. Okay, so as you can see down here, it says um, about no reply at abastrategy.com. It says someone requested to download your data from our site. If it was you, you can click here to download in an XML format or the JSON format as well. Um, so you're getting all the details that the user needs um, to be GDPR compliant, guys. Okay, so how do we do this and how can we get this done? Um, so all you have to do is go over to this um, area here, guys. Okay, and you install the plugin, you download it and you install it. Let me just point out a few areas down here, guys. Okay, the very first thing that I should make notes of is down here, guys, saying that activating this plugin does not guarantee that an organization is going to be successfully meeting its responsibilities and obligations of GDPR. So it's going to be very important that even though you use this plugin or even though you make changes, and this is true, guys, with every single GDPR plugin that you're going to get, um, even though you're installing it and using it and adding all the um, features on your website, it does not necessarily mean that your website is going to be GDPR compliant. So it's going to be very important that you go out there um, and seek even more um, um, you know help if you if you want to be totally certain 
Okay, so let's go over to here, guys, and let me show you what we can do. In fact, let me just show you these short codes first. Okay, so you get short codes to work with with this plugin, guys. So when you saw the privacy policy and you saw that I was able to edit details and everything down here, you don't need to know any scripting or anything like that, guys, because everything's done for you. All you have to do is copy and paste these short codes wherever you want them. As you can see, I've just put them all one after the other, all four of them. Um, I didn't make use of this one. Um, and what will happen is it will actually create the details that the user user needs um, to perform these actions. So to delete something, to rectify something, to to raise a complaint um, or to export data, um, then all these buttons can do that for you. Okay, as you can see down here, this website is also using um, a cookie policy that they need to agree to. If I agree on that, guys, the page refreshes um, and well, this is the actual plugin that I'm using. So you've already seen this in action. Okay, so let me just show you the back end real, real quick, guys. Um, so I've already installed it, as you can see. Um, the very first thing you need to do is select your privacy page. Um, so what is your privacy policy page? Um, and you just link it there. Okay, outgoing mail limitations. I don't do any outgoing emails from this plugin, guys. But again, when you go over to the actual settings and, you know, you're going to get all sorts of frequently asked questions and everything you're going to be able to work with to find out how you do it. So my website's fairly simple. It doesn't really collect any details if anything it works with Google Analytics but you'd need to make them kind of notes um, in your privacy policy as well okay so user deletion um, do you want to send requests to user to delete them disable CSS enable um, some sort of tracker down here as well so this is a privacy um, center this is the banner text that appears towards the bottom guys okay down here and um, this here um, is the text that appears uh, when you click on privacy policy and some more details down there. OK, um, you can also add, request to add capture details down here. You can make cookie con containers and you can have um, consent. So this is the actual registration messages um, and the links that you'll get from these pop up boxes. So, for example, privacy policy and more information. OK, um, you can also go over to tools and with the tools, um, you're able to access user data when you want to search by email. Um, if there's been any data breaches, then you're able to send them out emails as well, making them notes or making notes about the um, data breaches. And you get an edit, you get an audit log as well. Now, the audit log is really cool, guys, because one of the things that GDPR requires you to do um, is to keep a full track of how you got the consent from the user. So let me just quickly read it out from here, guys, what the audit log does okay so the audit log everything the data subject does so the data subject is like the user um, from registration providing consent to the privacy policy terms of service and other requests are logged and encrypted in the database so they're fully encrypted as well guys um, in the database something that is a it's not a requirement but it is something that is suggested to actually get done okay data breach notifications are also logged to all data subjects upon confirmation by controller okay so there you go guys if there's been any data breaches you can actually send out emails and make them aware um, at the same time data gets encrypted um, and at the same time um, the system logs all the information for you as well so when they signed up when they agreed um, and whatnot you guys so it's very simple very straightforward and very easy to work with um, and then you've got requests down here guys so if anyone's made any requests to rectify data you can see them down here if anyone's made any complaints you can see them down here um, and um, anything else down here as well OK, so it's very simple to use, guys, very straightforward. I highly recommend that all of you guys go out there, spend a bit of time to find out about GDPR. Um, but as noted, this is a brand or sorry, this is a free plugin that's going to allow you to do almost anything or sorry, almost all the things that I've seen other GDPR paid for plugins do. Um, and you know what? It's totally free um, and it's very worth your while putting this into action as well. So anyway, I really hope you enjoy this video and thank you very much for your time.